the overpowered rookies back from war. You can't even tell the heroes from the villains from the vigilantes anymore. And oh man, do not get me started on you big shots. People who wear capes and smile all the time are no better than the insane criminals they lock up. Because you can't save anybody from a pedestal. You all will be the death of Hero Society if somebody doesn't raise and rebuild it from the ground up. And you believe you can do this all by yourself? Go ahead and doubt me like everyone else. But if I just had a quirk, I swear... I don't doubt you one bit. In fact, I'll be your first believer. Present day at the Tower of Evil! Bakugo is in custody and awaiting your arrival, sir. <laughs> Excellent! Head pats for everyone except Dobby upon my arrival. Ah, yeah. oh, man. Everything okay with this, sir? Just a little ambient lightning. If I don't commit to this symbol of evil facade, nobody's going to listen now, will they? Spared no expense in the Tower of Evil, did you? Actually, it was a steal on the housing market. Your commitment to this bid begs me to ask if you actually stole it. Right? What? Did you literally steal this property or did you purchase it for cheap? I, I can't hear you. Let's reschedule this conference call in the morning when the storm blows over. It is morning, sir. Then there is nothing left to discuss. Despite a smidgen of correctable insurgency in the ranks, we got the results we wanted. Hero Society is on its deathbed with only one man futilely keeping it on life support. And I will deal with him myself. What's the matter, heroes? Big and brave enough to tell us all what to do, but too scared to answer some questions? Who do you answer to? Those children deserve better! Yeah, come on! You quirkies are a disgrace! Ooga shaka, ooga ooga, ooga shaka, ooga ooga, ooga shaka. Oh, <coughs> um, sorry, uh, I'm not a journalist. I just wanted to practice singing in public because I get nervous in front of crowds. I I'll go now. No, 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 sing! You can do it, dude! We believe in you! Uh, oh, 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 okay. Um, I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Girl, you just don't realize... What you do to me When you hold me In your arms so tight You let me know Everything's alright ah! Look at the feeling Thank you for all braving the hordes of angry mobs and reporters to meet today. I've gathered you all here because, frankly, we can't trust anyone else. And you are all Nana's most trusted pupils. Except for you, Snipe. Why exactly are you here? Well, I don't want to be alone right now! Aw, so glad we could accommodate you while we leave a razor head to the vultures! We all put in the effort to conceal Eraserhead's past vices, but it caught up with us in the end. He, he wouldn't do this to the kids, though. He cared more about them than any of us did. And I'm the one who told him to take them out of harm's way. <laughs> you did what? Mike. I can't keep quiet anymore. You were quiet before? You screwed Eraserhead over again. And it's your fault he turned to villainy in the first place. He worked his heart and soul to become a hero. He should have been given one for all. But Silver Tongue Skelter here got to Nana at her lowest moment and took it for himself. You didn't get into the hero course either. You had no more claim than he did. And then you used that power to force us into silence and perpetuate this system to respect Nana's memory and keep society from falling apart. Well, it fell apart anyways. Yeah. I've been carrying around a microphone for the past 18 years just for this moment! Hey! Feel better, Michael. Mike is short for Micicle, you rat bastard! Steer the conversation however you please, Mikhail. But now is the time to course correct. And it's going to take everyone's cooperation with Toshi. Hey, hey, no! It's not that we don't want to help you, Toshi. 
It's just that Washington's going to ban hero activities at any moment now. Any public sign of resistance is not going to help our cause. I just don't want to help him! Don't you dare say it, Mycicle! Maybe we should let all for one take over. Can't be worse than a bunch of dead kids in the woods! You're right. I made certain any price was justified to preserve this system out of my own guilt and wrongdoing. I've asked enough from you already. Toshi, I've cleared out Zara before, and I can do it again. But he's going to have to publicly testify for what he did in the past. Good. Put it all out there. Hero society is dead. Some number one hero I turned out to be. One is nothing without the other numbers, Toshi. You have me, and the other ranked heroes. And I screwed you all over too! If my own friends won't help me, I have no right asking! We don't need a right or reason. We're heroes. We may not agree on everything, but we do all agree that the day needs saving. So count on us. Then I guess it's clear. I need everyone here! decided to wake up! How long have I been out? A week, believe it or not. Felt like months. You didn't miss much. Oh, except Invisigirl's dad visited the hospital. Surprise! We all lived! But you feel like a fucking idiot for crying! G had me fooled. Uh, everyone? There were unfortunately some casualties on Class B's side. But all of Class A is still kicking. Granted, someone needs some time to heal. So are we not going to address the biggest elephant in the room? Ooh, you mean the villain amongst us? What's this a punch card villain? It's got nothing to do with the League. I'm talking about Ida! He risked his life saving us from something far worse. Ah! Sorry, King Kai! A whole multiverse of my disposal and this was the only place I could think of! Yeah, whatever. It's not like there's any consequences in this universe. Hey, he gave us some fruit! The ultimate gesture of repentance! Yay! I've been cooperating with the authorities and giving them every piece of intel I have on the League. It's not going to make up for what I've done, but... The fruit does? I yeah, the fruit fixes everything. I it actually doesn't! I mm. uh, can someone answer that for me? Uh, of course. Uh, hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Lawyer. Yeah, Midori is awake. What does he want? He says his client Tanya was under a villain's mind control? Yeah, let's go with that. I HIGHLY DOUBT THAT! He says... Sorry, Midoriya, these are his words, not mine. Sorry, didn't quite catch that. The sounds of your uninformed baby whimpers were masked by my fat, thick, meaty law degree. They sound like your words! <laughs> okay, a few of them were. <laughs> what? You're all assholes! You had a week to process this, and I'm getting it thrown at me all at once! And what about Bakugo? None of you seem even a little bit concerned about him! We're not sad, because we're gonna do something about it! No way! Oh, I didn't no. push an exploding nuclear warhead to the other side of the multiverse and then track down the Dragon Balls with Son Goku to recover it just for y'all to put yourselves in harm's way again! Nuh-uh! Fuck that! Fuck Son Goku! I don't have to listen to y'all! I'm a real villain! I have ambitions that I aim to stick with! And all I want is my best friend back! Quiet! Most people still subscribe to the old binary and won't appreciate a villain announcing themselves in a hospital! Not as if being a hero is gonna be any different soon! I'm not signing that bill! Mr. President, you're not gonna have a choice soon. Man, what's the point of being president with all this democracy in the way? Do you understand the lengths Bakugo has gone to help you? He doesn't even acknowledge me as a friend, so you at least owe him! Isn't that right? Isn't that freaking right?! Yeah. Sorry to interrupt this freight train of monologues, but I've got an examination to do. DON'T BE RUDE! Kid, a patient with stage 4 kidney failure just threatened to kill me and my staff because I told her she couldn't drink gravy straight from the can anymore. And that was just a highlight of today's 16-hour shift. Wanna discuss what's rude? Then I'll gladly hash it out after you schedule an appointment. By the way, we're overbooked and understaffed. So see you in about 12 weeks. Valued life. 
S sorry thank you for your service, sir. At least you're rich, jerk. Doctors think they're all better than us. Yeah, glad I picked a noble career as president. <laughs> oh, golly, I still can't say that with a straight face. <sighs> Over a hundred grand in student loan debt just to be treated like this. Sorry about my friends, Mr. Doctor. Don't be. I love it. The fact that they bark at me over the small things means I've put them at ease over the real problems. It's why I do this. And it's why you do this to yourself, isn't it? Midoriya, did you notice when Recovery Girl revived you that your tendons and ligaments returned with the consistency of tissue paper? If you throw one more reckless punch, you're going to blow your arm clean off. You will bleed to death, and Recovery Girl will not be there to bring you back. I have to do what's necessary. Just because you have terminal cancer does not make your life more expendable than anyone else's. And thanks to the cooperation of Quirks, we are making unheard of advancements in medical research. If you keep yourself together long enough, you may live to see a cure. Except that all that research is going to be put to a screeching halt when the president's forced to abolish Hero Society. Don't put that fight on yourself, too. It's more my fight than anybody knows. <sighs> Frustrating, isn't it? When you're trying to protect someone and they won't let you? Are we really the only ones who care about Bakugo? I think the fact that they do care is the reason they won't help. Putting yourselves and all of Hero Society at risk for his sake? You know Bakugo wouldn't approve. And honestly, I feel sorry for the villains that think they can contain him. Then why are you helping? Because Bakugo taught me better. Boys. You mama, you made it! Face it, if I died, you'd all be lost without me. But do you know where Bakugo is? No. But... I do. And I'll be making damn sure none of you get close. Why? Because you're still working for the League? Because I'm not gonna let them hurt you again! Because you feel guilty! I already lost one brother! I'm not gonna lose you again too! That shit messed me up so badly I started dating your mama! Just look at her! Yeah, I'm a hot mess. She still believes in me! Even after I nearly got her killed and betrayed you all! That's because we're a family. I didn't understand it before, but despite our differences, disagreements, who we are or who we pretended to be, no matter how many times we screwed things up for ourselves and each other, I'd do anything to be with you all. One of our brothers is out there alone. And we have to bring him home. <sighs> but you're right, Ida. We can't risk our lives to do this. We all have to make it back home. All right, then. It's time for the Bakugo Retrieval Arc. Their main bases of operation are in the heart of San Japangelis. If any professional heroes are deployed, they'll assault HQ first. We'll comb the warehouses and anonymously report to the authorities first sign we catch of Bakugo. But I swear to dog, if I catch even the slightest whiff of you getting yourself hurt, Midoriya, we're running away to Hawaii to retire as coconut salesmen like we said we would one day. What about me? Whose coconuts do you think we're selling? Sweet. Gonna be hard to stay out of trouble when the villains and public alike know who we are now. That's why we'll go in disguise. You're from a family of spies, aren't you? That's right. Then you should take the lead on this part. Oh, uh, of course! Let's guile up in that store up ahead. From hero to villain to spy, <laughs> my mind to slap throw me some interesting curveballs. Too bad you can't throw any of that on a resume. Pretty messed up if you ask me. Mr. Daddy! Oh, you wanna go choke yourself, Noi? Very good, but you don't want to oversell the role, darling. I am Dr. Van Gay Elon Musk Twitter Verified. My wife and I are taking our grotesquely deformed and retarded son out for his yearly walk outside. Even a debonair delinquent like myself finds that word appalling. I can say retard, I have mild autism. You don't get autism from a head injury, either. You will get the air retarded from your lungs if you shut the fuck up! I thought my real father was abusive. Respect the roleplay, you two! We see you for what you truly are no. now! Mr. Aizawa! Care to explain yourself before we throw the book at you? A razor head. 
That's not fair. He did nothing wrong. Metaphorically, of course, it'd be kind of rude to throw an actual book at you. Perhaps a Kindle. Hey, anyone got a metaphorical Kindle? Before that, I would like to take full responsibility for the cover-up of Aizawa's alleged misdeeds. Which, I may add, now far exceed the statute of limitations. That's enough, Principal Nezu. You'll have your turn to face the music soon enough. Or should I say, soon enough? <laughs> How'd you like that? We, uh, like to keep things light here in the court of law. Appreciated, but I've been preparing for this day for a long time. After dropping out from U.S. General Studies program, I had an extensive criminal record with those now associated with the League of Villains. They somehow tracked me and attacked students and alumni under my watch, and I take full responsibility for that. If these were not falsified as well, we have records stating you were top of your class. If that's the case, why turn your literal back on U.A.? And why didn't U.A. turn their metaphorical back on you? Why was it so important to keep your history a secret? They weren't protecting my history. They were protecting Nana Shimura's. And it didn't matter how exceptionally I performed. I wasn't fit to be a hero under society's standards. But that didn't stop Nana from taking a vested interest in me. That is, until another student got in the way. It felt as if she had led me on to believe I was her successor, only to pull it away from me and humiliate me. So I turned to villainy to spite her. And one day, when she was trying to save people in a terrible accident, I erased her quirk, made her feel as helpless as I did, made the very image of the hero none of us could ever amount to worthless. And in doing so, I not only sentenced several people to death, but I delivered the first death blow to hero society, exposed it for what it was, the mere image that emboldened leagues of villains and hero killers alike. You can imagine why that had to be covered up, and why it ultimately failed. I've spent every sleepless second since atoning for what I did. In exchange for my silence, I was granted the honor of teaching the next generation to be their best selves, and not the best of what this farcical society demanded of them. I've laid my life down for them. I've given them everything, and will continue to do so. You can lock me up and throw away the key, as you should, but I'll always be with them telling them that it's not their job to perpetuate our lies. That they are better than what this system has fooled us all into believing. So, is this man unfit to teach our children? No. In fact, he may be the only thing going right for your school. The board has no more questions. Thank you. And sorry my answer was so short. Psst. Psst. Bombs. Um, what? Fuck these wanks, mate. Let's go bunk a go and take the league for ourselves. Shut up! You're gonna get me in trouble with you! We can hear you, you know. I ain't no snitch, though. You're just mad because you're not getting head pats. And neither is Shigaraki. Listen, Short Fuse the Echidna over there is the only thing standing in the way of your granddaddy's love. Kill him, and you get back the keys to the whole kingdom. Think about this, Hans. Do you truly believe killing another child and disrupting the New World Order is going to earn back his love? Well... Accidents happen, don't they? How the hell do they not have Snickers? Show us the hideout already! Fine... Wait! Does anyone have change for a 50? I really want some butterscotch. Butterscotch? What are you, in your 60s? It's comfort food for very uncomfortable times! Quiet, there's- ah! whoa, whoa. I thought we were going to be the exact opposite of Rowdy! Take a look for yourself! This is where they make all the monsters? Alright, field trip over, squad. Under no circumstance can we allow those things to see us. Hold up! They're not, like, alive yet, are they? Oh, this'll be good. What if it's, like, imprinting or something? And if we're the first person they see, they'll think we're their parents. And... We can raise them to be good. There's a lot of shit you clearly need to unpack with your father, Chili. 
And I hope that's done as soon as possible. Because everything in that disturbing sequence you described to us in excruciating detail has friends to kill every ounce of my agency and ambition as a woman. Not even being trapped in an international triple agent game of my own father's creation whilst being in love with a lying sociopath has managed to accomplish that. I literally can feel the millions of eggs inside of me dying as you stare in my direction now, parsing together frightening fantasies of us together based on a single conversation we had during the GED exam. Don't be afraid to share, but also get some fucking help, my dude. Yo, I saw Bakugo in there too. What the fuck? <coughs> <coughs> Thank you all for your honesty. Uh, afraid to tell you, your request for adoption has also been rejected. Look! Let everyone remember the night Earth's greatest heroes came together. <laughs> oh, my precious one! What? Oh, all right, so we didn't all come together at once. I came first, and then Endeavor came from behind, and then Genus came... <laughs> oh, now I get it. <laughs> Shut up! The villains are gonna hear us! I'll admit, it feels kind of wasteful killing a fellow All Might hater. <laughs> you think so? Of course. You're the only other one with the cojones to call him out in public. <laughs> Don't mistake my criticism for blind hatred, Krusty. I'm critical of All Might because I'm his biggest fan. So don't think for one second I'm joining all for one side. I let Dundee drag me over here so I can blow you. <laughs> blow all of you <laughs> in this convenient trash heap into next. <laughs> oh, God damn it, I just caught myself. People are actually afraid of us. Then thanks for making this so much easier on my conscience. Yo, did somebody order a pizza? That depends. What's on it? Dobby! What? Torturing kids builds up me appetite. Nah, I got Dobby's usual. Ham, pineapple, and justice! Why didn't anybody laugh? It stopped being funny after the third abandoned building you demolished. They weren't all empty. But those homeless people still wrapped, all things considered. Hi! Hello! Good evening! We're gonna shoot you if you're bad! Better wrap it up before one of these blue bottles pops a civilian. No need to worry about that. They're not policemen. They're gamers. Sweet! Way to keep up a brave front until we arrived, Bakugo. A lesser man would have caved to the pressure of such cruelty. And if it's any consolation to your struggle, I'm admittedly your biggest fan, too. Eat shit and die, Asmite! Why do you put so much effort into acting like this dreadful situation is nothing to you? What is it about our pain and helplessness that you find so goddamn funny? We do this because those who bear down and smile in the face of fear and pain are the strongest! In a long line of terrible shit that's crawled out of that sewage hole you call a mouth, that has contextually got to be the worst thing you have ever said to a person. Then how else is good supposed to triumph in the end? Spreading more misery? And telling someone who's had it too hard to just bear and grin it isn't spreading misery? Listen, I had a flashback to a similar conversation like this in the past, so I know I'm right. Look at you clowns. Unable to draw a consensus to why it's so simple. Your goal is to steal the moment we seize from you in return. Because there is no such thing as good. Only the outcomes and feelings you take for yourself! You saw to that when you took everything from me! I will have this world raised and picked clean of you camera-friendly con artists! I want you gone, All Might. I hate you! I want you to die! Contact, gentlemen! Damn it, Edshot! You were supposed to neutralize the teleporter! Do you see someone else? Don't let anyone out! <laughs> No! Well, Team Up sure had a good short run, didn't they? <laughs> Oi, liar! Your boys need a buff! I need Mountain Dew Gamer Fuel and Dorito Stat! Fuel my man! So, who you wanna bet screwed up at the warehouse? Uh, 
So this all just amounted to the world's longest Snickers run, huh? It's a superhero's whoops whoops in there! Who's selflessly working together? Razorhead would be proud. You said there would be press here, genus! Yeah! You pressing all my buttons! I drag your attention-seeking, sensationalizing, 50-foot ass back down to Earth here so you could use your God-given gifts for good for once! Now show some goddamn decorum! Both of you decorate yourselves! These cornerstone bickering is unmanly! <sighs> I'm no man, kitty boy! Neither am I! But everyone can be a man if they're brave enough! They'll find Bakugo, you guys. Let's go. Snickers are on me to celebrate. Make mine a butterscotch. You don't think I know my own culpability in this, Orca? Every act of violence, harassment, and exploitation made through the use of a quirk is on me. Put a pin in that monologue! And perhaps the helmet, too! Looks difficult to breathe in! Mr. President. To what do I owe this tremendous tax burden on the American people? Aw, uh, you know, defense of freedom from fascists like yourself who want to take it away. I'm a fascist? Mr. President, I believe wholeheartedly in freedom. But freedom must come with responsibility. And nobody's being responsible! So you've taken all that responsibility for yourself? Apology, Shape of Water, but when you have to explain why you're not a fascist, that usually means you're a fascist. Don't lecture me, you glorified mascot! Careful how you speak to your sticky president! Except I'm not an American citizen. So you're here illegally. Dare I say, invading? Sure. Mr. Genus, would you and your team mind stepping a little to the right? Your consideration in the face of excessive force is appreciated, Mr. President, but I gotta see to it that this dumb dumb head motherfucker stays down! Wu Tang! Glad those weren't my tax dollars. Ah, well, gonna have to chew on your water just a little longer, Flint. Janus, run! Too proud for that, nephew. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Before we get started, I just want to thank everyone, including you kids, for coming out tonight for my big re-debut. Your support not only warms my heart, but it also allows me to wipe you all out in one convenient space. <laughs> Best genus, I am a huge fan. Rags to riches, a mentor, understood his responsibilities and would have fit the New World Order if he hadn't died suddenly and tragically defending such unworthy causes. Is that men's warehouse you find you dead in a half? Suddenly and tragically. Yeah! I thank you for all the countless good you brought into this world, Genus. I pray you forgive it for demanding so much from you, and the indiscriminate justice required to fix it. Join my daughter in a better place, and rest now. You can come out now! Bakugo. I've been watching over you for a very long time, Katsuki Bakugo. You wouldn't be my first stalker love interest. You have no friends, no selfish ties or trappings. All you have is your power. But most importantly, a thorough understanding of its consequences. It's because of that I want you to take my place. Become the be-all, end-all. All for one, and one for all. I think you're mistaken. You value yourself so little as if you're disposable, and it makes the people you save feel equally as worthless. I don't mean to. Allow me to give you value, the means to love yourself, like you love everyone else, so they will look to you, fear you, respect you, love you, not because you deserve it, but because you earned it. Don't listen to him, Bakugo! Impeccable timing! Didn't you tell the boy to accept the things he's earned? Huh. 
You're a smooth talker, aren't you? I'd honestly love to believe you, but you don't. Look the part. <laughs> I may not be the kind of hero you envisioned, Bakugo, but know you'll always be mine. It's supposed to be me! I absolve myself from you, you disappointment! Take him someplace far and out of our hair, will you? Much prefer a private affair. Then it's a date! Bakugo, take my hand! I'm not the hero you envisioned either, all for one! I have at least one friend! Guess we're walking back. You think that vending machine's still intact? Those sneakers are mine! You can have them. Shigaraki, baby, my hero. You picked him, Ida, and Stain over me. I am nobody's sloppy fort, and they were all right to defy you. And sweetie, this man is bad for you, and we're pulling you out. She's right. I do deserve better than you. I'm going to be better than you! Enough! There's enough people attracted to me already, thank you kindly! And I'll start that by forgiving you, All Might! <laughs> That's right! I forgive you! Beat him, All Might! Beat him! And now you've turned my own grandson against me! Listen to yourself! No! Not until I hear it from you first! Not on your life! Then perhaps on his! Fine! You want the abridged version or? Oh, you go ahead and pad that runtime, baby! Then how about you take a seat, open up that helmet, and listen real good! I was born a quirkless nobody in a world full of amazing people with incredible power. I felt helpless, worthless, and I was driven to do the unforgivable just to escape that feeling! <laughs> And she still thought the world of you, Toshi! I didn't know it then, because I couldn't see how someone like me was worthy of even having one friend. When in fact, I had many. I stepped on them all to get this far. I was in such a hurry to be somebody that I never considered your daughter's well-being. I knew she was hurting, and I didn't care! Say it. Say it! I told her to empty. I told her it was my turn to be number one. And now I feel even more worthless than before! So by stopping me, you wish for there to be more people who feel worthless like you? You want more monsters who abuse their power like you? Who couldn't even allow my hurting daughter to smile? I... guess not. Then allow me to correct that. Oh my! Are you so narcissistic to think that you're the only one who's made a mistake? If we were all perfect, then we wouldn't be superhuman, now would we? We wouldn't even be men! Just cold and empathetic executioners like him! And how would we be able to save each other otherwise? That's right. That's right! It's what makes him the perfect symbol of peace, Torino. 
He may be unable to see himself in others now, but people will surely see themselves in him. His imperfection will move even the coldest, most stubborn of hearts. Had we met like this even a year ago, I'd be inclined to agree with you, Alpha One. But then I met him, a kid who never let being quirkless define his value, impede him from doing what was right, and giving him a quirk didn't corrupt that one bit. Then why don't you bring him out here to help? One more sacrificial pawn for your legacy! Not necessary, because that's what I am here for! I can be somebody to him! Like Nana was to me! So I'll take the strength his kindness granted me, and use it to extinguish evil where it stands! What gives you the right to decide what is good and evil?! Because the heart of a hero is supposed to be imperfect! It knows anger, doubt, sadness and pain, darkness and temptation! Heroes fall, so they can rise again! Because this is who we are! You had no right to take that power from her. She gave up this power because she was exhausted from the weight of the world that you placed on her. I'm tired too. <coughs> I'm tired too. We're all tired now. And I've accepted my role in that. Now it's your turn to accept yours. And understand that it's his turn to fix it. He and his friends are going to... Fix what we broke. Nana said the same thing about you, and I of her. Uh, I just want to see her again. Tell her I'm sorry. She already forgave you. Follow your daughter and grandson's lead and forgive yourself too. I'm going to start by forgiving myself and finally move on. I'll see you on the other side when you're ready, Mr. Shimura. Oh, so I do have a son. Sorry if I made you worry, Mom. Are you hurt? No. Are you happy? Of course. Then what's there to worry about? <sighs> All might! Dallas! <laughs> Sorry. Wanted one more for the road. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? They said you escaped from the hospital. You are not in any condition to- Come here! Ah! I had to be here. This place is important to me. Do you know why? Yeah, we cleaned this beach together. Well, I, I did most of the work while you threw more garbage at me. It's also the place where you became my friend. Eh, yeah, I had no choice because you threatened to blackmail me. But we can have a recap episode back at the hospital. Let's- I can't. I'm really tired. What are you saying? You're not- <laughs> Don't be sad. Don't be sad. I've been living on borrowed time. Even I don't know how I lasted this long. Just hanging on long enough to smash the biggest opening in this world for you to call your own. This is another one of your sick games, isn't it? You're the wielder of one for all now. You're All Might. You're the number one hero. And I love you so much, kid. I'm sorry, All Might. We don't have to go back to the hospital. We don't have to ever stop being friends. There's, there's so much more we have to do. All Might. Oh Thank you for being here, Azuku Midoriya. My hero. My friend. You can let go now, Albite!
Thank you all for gathering on such short notice. It is with a heavy heart that I must declare the death of our number one hero, All Might. In the wake of his passing, talks of the suspension of Hero Society have been put on hold. So you must understand it is with the utmost urgency that we begin the arduous task of saving face and selecting his successor. The people of Japan believe it is providence that the Hero Society Association has decided to hold the summit here today and would like to nominate a Japanese hero. The One Punch Man, I assume? Yeah, we're looking for sure bets, not rumors. Yeah, heard that guy's a fucking loser. <laughs> My sources and I must insist on Russia's behalf that we nominate Crimson Chariots. If Russia doesn't cooperate with Hero Society, then they don't get a vote. And as such, they shouldn't even know we're holding this meeting. So, who squealed? Suffice to say, your pillar at UA has more than one hole. And not even an iron curtain can seal that off forever. The people of Canada would like to nominate a friendly hello there, bud. Great Britain would like to nominate Endeavor. <sighs> So I take it we're all gonna play identity politics today, huh? The United States also nominates Endeavor! Instead of Hawks. Hmm, interesting. Though, it makes sense. Endeavor primarily operates there now. Collaboration with All Might, no less. And his sordid past aside, Endeavor has tirelessly worked to clean his image and earn the trust of the public. Save for one public intoxication incident, but that can happen to the best of us. I'm inclined to agree, but isn't he a rather dark contrast to All Might? These are dark times, Administrator. And kids love that edgy shit! Yeah, that they do. But how does the rest of the panel feel? Why bother arguing? We're all just gonna give it to the white guy. I don't- The eyes have it. Endeavor is our new number one hero. So, how was the meeting, Aizawa? It was every bit as horrifying as I'd imagined, sir. And I'm left to wonder if you'll ever grow tired of punishing me. I wasn't punishing you. I wanted you to listen. Did you hear the kinds of heroes they wanted? It's imperative that you mold your students into something better. Heroes like Nana and Toshinori put UA on the map. But if we can't produce the next top tier hero, we'll gracelessly fade from the zeitgeist before the next decade. And lose out on all that precious tuition. Perish the thought. I won't pretend like UA was the bastion of ethics, but you must admit, if this institution does one thing right, it's produce kind-hearted heroes. Do we not? <sighs> You're right. We can change. But do you honestly trust that the other schools will? No. And so it is no longer our privilege, but our moral duty to lead the new world. Our uncouthness forces students to think outside the box. They're taught how to approach the intangibles, operate within the dark gray. These other schools deal in extremes. If you don't believe me, you'll see for yourself at the provisional exam. I believe you. But I'm finding it hard to believe I'm allowed to have my job back. You were never fired. That patented bluntness forced the administration to promote you over me. Sir, I- up, up, up. I am now the vice to your principal, sir. Where I failed you, you must now help these children succeed. It will be my honor, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so cool! Don't be weird. Enjoy this, but be anything but super <laughs> weird about it. <clears throat> yes, sir. I am the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the intrusion, sis. Oh, look who came crawling back home after being all broody and independent from the family. Didn't you a conscript you and your little friends to those fancy new dorms? I just want to talk to Dad before I go. Is he here? <laughs> Do our carpets match the drapes? Go ahead. Maybe you can calm him down since you're his favorite and all. <laughs> Everything okay, Dad? Just got the call. I'm gonna be the number one hero. You must be thrilled. But if you were to ask me, you were always number one in my book. Love you, boy. Look. Yeah. Thanks to the efforts of your president, Hero Society lives to see another day. How? It was a totally unbiased, non-partisan decision on Congress's part to suspend talks on that matter until our infinite filibuster concludes. If it's an infinite filibuster, how can it ever conclude? If it's an infinite filibuster... HOW IS IT INFINITE?!
We aired a copy of Lawrence of Arabia, but every time you see sand, it gets ten times slower. So your term will end before then. Oh, it, uh, already ended. Oh, no! You got him pitched! I could imagine firing an unmanned drone on U.S. soil would do that. Oh, no, they approved that after I told them it was a giant gun pointed at an elementary school. Presidential terms are now adjusted for deflation of the average American's attention span. But don't think that stopped me from pulling garbage time and executive ordering us all back into our alma mater. A bada boom retcon! But let's not forget who really saved the day and allowed for us to be together again. All might. In his absence, the school felt it necessary to up security and implement this new residential policy. A villain has never stepped foot inside this hollow ground of UA. <sighs> Evil villains. This will be the safest place on Earth for young heroes to learn and grow, and most importantly, be kids. Seriously, do kid shit. Y'all are so fucking depressing, even by my standards, Jesus. Today, at least. For tomorrow, it's back to the business of me working you all to the bone. Absolute sadist. Rise and shine, old Hagan. Take a good look at your new home. And where is home exactly? Are you blind? You're in prison, scumbag. Oh, that makes perfect sense now. There's so many sensors around, it's difficult to catch my bearings. Don't act so glum. Your pal All Might pulled every nutsack in Washington to get you the cushiest cell block in this neighborhood. Three square meals a day and the best health care and psychiatric therapy. My hard-working tax dollars could buy. Toshin, or you didn't. If I had eyes left, I'd be crying by now. Please do clarify, are you blind? Well, of course. How did you manage to go head-to-head -head with All Might in that condition? Verbal sonar. Monologuing serves many purposes, my friend. <laughs> my goodness, that is astounding! I guess it sort of is. Huh. What do I call you, Speaker Man? I am the proprietor of this establishment. Most refer to me by my slave name, Yotsubashi. My friends call me by another moniker, however. Play nicely and accept the help we're offering here, Mr. Shimura. And you may call me by my true name. Redestro. Okay, girls, if you've ever lived in close quarters with the same sex before, like I have, you know that things can get a little tense and catty. This is actually a side effect from resisting all the gay energy in the air. Do not resist the gay energy. Embrace the gay. With me! Come on, Pinky, I know you live the VN Rose. I eat frogs. Now see, with the cute accent, I can't tell if that's a cheeky entendre or if you're actually a goddamn cannibal. I'd like to christen the new lily pad with you, Ochaku, but I already know you're vegan. Uh, broccoli boys in particular. <laughs> That? Then who do you like? It's literally your only important factor of development. It's not, and it shouldn't be. During the camping trip, I realized I'm not in love with Midoriya or Bakugo. Rather, I'm in love with the idea of them. Together? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same. No. They have in each other someone so important that they would risk life and limb to save, inspire, and push to be their very best. I wanted that. I was so jealous of that. Life isn't just the Bakugo and Midoriya show. Ida, Chili... And Rusty! Everyone. We're all here to support each other. It kinda is their show, though. And it's written with a very specific demographic in mind. And that's not feminazi propaganda. It's a fact. Is the diet fresca going to my head, or are you starting to speak a lick of sense for once? Remember this place? Ground Beta. 
where All Might made us fight each other until- You shouldn't have given me a pass. We should have finished that fight. And I should have beaten you down right there. I'm the last person who gets a say in what you do with your life, but... I hate it when you needlessly risk your life like that. Even more when you do it for me. You think because you're dying that sacrificing your life is the best you can contribute. And it's all my fault you feel that way. All Might chose you. And died for you. So you could do so much more than throw it all away. And all for one chose me. I didn't accept his power. But I did accept the position. I did that because I loved you, Midoriya. Everything that I ever did was because of my feelings for you. You were my hero, and I wanted to be just like you. But I despised my own weaknesses so much that those feelings shattered into hatred. It's been the root of all the pain and sorrow our friends have felt since. And it's holding us back from becoming the people this world needs in All Might's absence. That's why. For yours, Rusty's, Ochako's, all of my friends' sake, and the world's. I have to defeat you. Right here, right now. Refuse or hold back, and I'll kill you. Could we do this at a more reasonable hour? <laughs> What is it, R3-D3? Bleep bloop bloop? My god, not bleep bloop bloop. <coughs> whoop whoop indeed. DIE! I've heard you out, Bakugo! Now it's your turn to listen to me! Oh no! You're not talking your way out of this one! So like everything else that's happened, I don't have a choice! <coughs> Taking a backseat to everyone's pity party! When's it gonna be my turn to take the reins, huh? After all those years chasing behind you? That's something you earned, cover boy! Well, don't mind if I do that now! Stop being a reckless dog! Then give it up, Bakugo! No! Never again! Because it's my turn to save you! It's your turn to chase me now, Midoriya. I'm stronger than you. If you want to become the number one hero, you'll have to beat me first. And to do that, you'll have to get stronger. You'll have to preserve yourself and live as long and fulfilling life as possible. Got that? I will. But you gotta promise me you'll be there too. Oh, I will be. Taunting you every step of the way. I'm gonna have to keep you two separated, aren't I? First night of the new Hero Society and you're already trying to kill each other. And where are your sweaters? You could have caught your death. Relax, I was just testing a little bean sprout. And the explosions kept us plenty warm. You're just pissed because we interrupted Nerds Night In. Which Star Wars were you watching this time? The Mary Sue Power Fantasy? Oh, so a marathon of the entire franchise. The Empire Strikes Back. That one's bleak as hell, man. It's also my favorite. You want to know why? I don't care to, but I got a hunch you're dying to tell us. One more monologue for the road, Eraser Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's the darkest in the franchise, it made everything that came after all the more of a triumph. Even if I personally don't like the changes that came after, it's a great thing they did. Which is just a roundabout way of saying there's gonna be a brighter tomorrow, boys. It's not gonna be easy, but I'm counting on you two to make it happen. 
No promises, Obi Bun. But we will try. We have a lot more work ahead of us, after all. me home, Boo. Stop joking around. This guy's a legend. Who's this old <laughs> fart? You always know how to keep an old soldier on his toes twice. Hey guys, we're back, and we rented Tootsie. I appreciate the hospitality and keeping us entertained, but safe harboring my league is enough just until we get back on our feet. Another two days tops. I swear. No, 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 no. Please stay as long as you wish. We are family, after all. I'm done with family, Overhaul. As much as I loved your mother, her side of the family was always... damaged. You'll find it far more comforting under my wing. Don't make me say it again. I'm done, Yuri. I will not impose any further, but open your heart any time you will learn. You and your siblings took after me. 